Cities and boroughs in the Mon Valley shining a light on the opioid epidemic tonight. People telling sad and tragic tales of losing loved ones to addiction. Lynn Hayes Freeland has some of those stories for us. For some people, the loss of a loved one due to opioid abuse can bring on feelings of isolation. But tonight in Glassport, family members and loved ones came together to share their experiences. Was Glassport, Pennsylvania is like so many communities in our area, reeling from the aftermath of the opioid epidemic. It seems like it was yesterday. I just hope that her death can help somebody. Sunday night, the volunteer group SA Reality Tours gave loved ones left behind a chance to remember, reflect, and come together after life seems to be ripped apart from the effects of drugs. He just knows they're in heaven. Mm, that's all. He's too young. He was yeah. only two when she died. I know that we're all going through the same thing when you look around and you see everybody. You know that they're all, they've all been to hell and back. A crowd of about 100 gathered at Memorial Park to remember parents, sons, and daughters, hurts that seem like they will never heal. Please release the balloons and memories of our, lost, our loved ones lost to addiction. Organizers of tonight's vigil know the pain that stretched across the park Sunday night. Dakota Elka. Whether it's a granddaughter wiping away her grandmother's tears. Jamie Horgas. Or a brother who has lost not one, but two siblings and realizes his life has changed forever. There ain't a day that goes by where I don't think about my sister or my brother. When I go to the home, I lay my head on that pillow at night. That's what I think about. Many people here tonight say there is a stigma attached to opioid abuse, and they were grateful for the opportunity to come together with people who understood firsthand what they were dealing with. Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDKA TV News.